Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really cute set to show and I do have Poppy here with me because she is teething. I have been keeping her out of my voiceovers lately because people were coming to the conclusion that I was doing acrylic nails around the baby, which I would never do. Um, but so I'm just gonna say now that you probably will hear her and she is next to me in her cot while we do this voiceover and we're gonna do it together. So I've already prepped and sanitised all of the hands and I've applied my forms and then I've gone in and dehydrated and primed and now I'm just going in with my first layer of clear acrylic on this pinky because I'm going to apply some glitters and just kind of blend them around the nail. So the glitters here that I'm using are again from the Glitter Fairy and these are the Pearl Multi Cuts. Um, one is called Tutu, I'm not quite 100% sure on the other names but I know that it's blue and like a pink colour that we've used and a purple sorry so purple and then that lighter colour is called tutu and then a blue and then I'm just going to really keep it thin trying to cover up the gaps um, and then I will let that dry and set in place before I go ahead and cap because if you try capping while the glitter is still movable you're just going to kind of move all that glitter and you're not going to get a good encapsulation so I like to just wait until that's set. Moving on to the ring finger and I'm just going to cover both the middle fingers in white acrylic. This is Snow White from CJP but you can use any white acrylic that you have if you wanted to recreate this design. Also, because this is a strength powder, I will be building my apex and structure with the white. I will not be encapsulating these nails in clear. Once I've done the ring finger, I will then go back and encapsulate the little finger and then move back on to the other middle finger. So now we're just going to go back and do white. Yes, we're using that white, aren't we, Poppy? Say hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do the same on this middle finger. I'm just going to build the free edge and then I'll go back in and do the cuticle area. So the index finger, I'm going in with clear, build in a thin structure, then I will be applying the pearl multi-cut glitters onto this again, and then moving onto the form, and then I will come back and encapsulate this nail.
So I said that I would leave some filing in for a lady who wanted to see some filing. Um, so here is me filing the pinky. So I go ahead, I do the side walls, the side walls and the free edge. Then I will go around the cuticle area and down and contour the rest of the nail so it's all a nice even finish. This is why you want to do as much work with your brush and you know when you're creating the nails as you can so you can reduce the amount of filing that you have to do and it's just refining the shape. So once I've filed and shaped all of the nails, I will remove all the dust and now I'm going in with CJP Tack Free Top Coat and I'm going to go and paint both of the white nails with this and then I will cure in my lamp for 60 seconds. Once that's cured and out of the lamp, I'm going to go in with my Sharpie markers and I'm just going to draw on that top coat. Just random blobs and then I will take a brush dipped in NSI Pure Plus and I will just kind of swirl that on that to make them Sharpies disperse their colour. As you can see there, it just kind of like disperses and you can add as little or as much as you want. We just wanted like a soft effect, didn't want the full coverage i'm now going in with this amazing little pot of magic it is called unicorn magic and it is from glitter arty nails and this is like this is like some amazing 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 <laughs> so this has to go on a no wipe top coat so you just rub it into that top coat and it gives like a pearlescent magic unicorn it's just beautiful and it when it catches that sun and you can use this over any colour obviously the different colours you use the different effects you will get um, but I think it just absolutely matched perfectly all the colours that we have done so I'm going to go in and re-top coat this sharpie marble because we are then going to go in and put some unicorn magic on top of that also just to keep the whole thing wrapped in together, keeping it all the same and making these nails look beautiful and sparkly and gorgeous. <laughs> So now I've dusted away all the excess pigment, I'm going to go ahead and top coat all of the nails. I will then get my client to place her hand in the lamp for 60 seconds and cure. And then I will allow that top coat to cool down before we go in and apply our cuticle oil. Make sure you're always allowing your top coat to cool down before you go in with your cuticle oil. If you don't allow it to cool down before you go in with oil, you will just smudge all of that top coat and ruin the work you've just done and it will just look dull. And then another essential part of your service is always applying that oil to replenish back all the nutrients that you have previously dehydrated out. And then that will be the finished video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye.